Welcome back guys, it's me again. So today I will be sharing a classroom haul and I know you guys are super excited about this because I am. I love classroom hauls and I love watching them. So I know this is gonna be enjoyable for you all. I have a couple of things here that y'all can see but I will make sure I go into depth with it. Um, my dog is right in front of me as I'm videoing so if you see him come in, you know why. You might think like, well, what in the world is this lady sitting behind? So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. Um, my husband loves reptiles and animals in general, we both do. But my husband has a love for reptiles and a love for spiders. So he has a whole rack system that goes pretty far up. And we have about like eight snakes, I think, not for sure. A bearded dragon and two leopard geckos and I think like eight tarantulas, but I'm not for sure because there's just so many and I lose count. But anyways, yep, that's why I'm here this time and not in my dining room. I kind of want to do this video into sections. So the first section is going to be all on decor and what I'm going to be putting in my classroom on the walls, stuff like that. And then the second part of the video, I kind of just want to focus on more organization and what I'm using in my classroom to keep organized because as I said in my first video, the number one thing a teacher should worry about is organization. So I'm gonna show a couple of my tools that I have for that. And then I'm gonna do more of a supply haul so you guys can see some of the supplies that, some of the supplies that I, have to have because without them your life is hard and the last part of the video i just want to share with you one of my classroom management strategies i'm going to be trying in the beginning of the year hopefully it works i've seen some people do it on tiktok we will see how that goes um but yeah so here we go up first we're going to be discussing and talking about my decor so the person I bought my decor from, she is amazing. She's super helpful and all around just a good person. Her Instagram, I believe, is Confetti and Creativity and so is the website that you can buy her bundles from. So I'm gonna link that down below so you guys can go look at her stuff. The first thing that I wanted to show you was my alphabet. So again, this is from Confetti and Creativity. She's amazing. She has the cutest bundles. My bundle is the watercolor bundle. So I figured I can do this theme for a while, for a couple years. So I kind of just wanted to keep it colorful and rainbow because I know everything like tends to match when you have it colorful and rainbow. But there's a lot of people that like the boho, that like the farmhouse, and she has all of those bundles. You just have to go look at her website and see what you like. So. Here is the watercolor alphabet. Um, she also has different alphabets to choose from in the, in the bundle that she gives you. So this is just the regular print. This is my number line. I also printed this from my bundle. Okay guys, it comes with everything. You just have to print it. That's it. So that goes all the way to 200, 200. Uh, next thing colors so she has the colors included in her bundles that you can use yes it's all from the same bundle it's so awesome and everything matches everything goes together in the beginning I started just you know putting random things on Amazon that didn't match but kind of match but really didn't match so I gave in and was like I just need to figure out my theme pick a bundle and then just go with it Oh well, if I have to print it out, at least it all matches because that's my biggest thing when it comes to decor. I just want the colors to flow and I want it to all look uniform. So that was for all my stuff I'm gonna be hanging up on my walls for circle time and so forth. Now I'm going to show you what I'm gonna be doing my bulletin boards with. So this is the first time I actually took this out and I bought a lot because I don't know how much I'm gonna plan on covering up. But this bulletin board paper, it's not really paper, it's better than paper. So this is from Amazon and I'll link it down below as well. I love it. 
Up next, I have my two borders I will be using. I have my black and white border. It is from Schoolgirl. And then I have this tassel colorful one. I'm pretty sure it matches pretty good. What do you guys think? I think so. So my plan is to layer this, but I don't know for sure. I did buy like probably eight of these and 10 of these. So we'll just, we're just gonna, you know, go with the flow. We'll have something else. But this isn't from Confetti and Creativity. This is from Teachers Pay Teachers and I don't know and don't remember exactly who it's by, but I will make sure I link it down below. Um, it's for my reading area and I'm planning on doing a bulletin board there as well with all these different characters. Pete, got Eric Carl. We got the Magic School Bus, which is my favorite. We got some Mo Willems. We got some Mo going on. We have the Rainbow Fish. We have a pigeon. Cat in the Hat. And of course, Junie B. Jones. So my plan is to do a bulletin board and then have these displayed in my reading area, my library, my library area, okay? So one of my friends was making fun of me because I say library and not library. It's just really hard for me because I don't know. Um, I've been wearing retainers for a, a while now, so maybe that's probably why. I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm just making up an excuse, but I need to say library. So these are gonna go in my library, Liz. <laughs> and yeah, I will make sure I show you guys everything once my classroom is finalized. Next up is my organization. Mm, can't wait. Okay, so I bought this little 10, I think it's 10 drawer, yes, 10 drawer cart from Amazon and I'll link it down below. Um, these little labels are from my bundle from Confetti and Creativity. Um, so I put this together and I kind of wanted to tell you before you go and buy this, um, it does come with a little hole to insert the little knob that you pull from, but it's only going to be me using this for my lesson plans and um, I figured I don't really need the little knob because I just pull it out from the top, but it's up to you if you want to put a hole in your label. I thought I was like too much work, so I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So. And I really like the clean finish that I have right now. I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for all my lesson plans and any papers that I have to put in there. And then on that day, I just pull it out and I have everything there. And then to print, I have there, um, I have, I don't know if you can see, to file, to grade next week, and then send home papers. So again, this card is from Amazon. And my labels are from Confetti and Creativity and it came into my bundle and I just added them by myself, printed and laminated and boom, shakalaka. Next thing I wanna show you, which everyone knows what they are because they are so trendy, but super, super helpful. I have my teacher toolbox. I actually have two and this is just one of them. This is the first one I created. So all my labels, are from my bundle confetti and creativity and I have some materials in there this just helps you stay organized guys imagine all these little things scattered around inside of your desk and it's all here and not only that but you can put stuff on top of here as well so I have two the other one is in my room I already labeled it as well I just wanted to show you this one because it's super cute and I love a little pencil on it too I got this from Amazon and I will link it down below as well. And I can also link down my other one that I bought that have the bigger drawers so you guys can choose what you want. But just know that if you buy a bundle from Confetti and Creativity that she has a little, a little picture in the middle of the smaller drawers that you get to put here and it's just, it makes everything so much cuter. But there you go. There's my teacher toolbox. I'm going to transition over to more of my supplies that I have for my classroom. Um, these are a big hit. Okay guys, these I've seen all over social media and 
you just put the number of the child or the student or you can put their name, it's up to you. I just hope that I can reuse these. That's my hope for next year, but we don't know. So I was just gonna put the number and have them store their crayons in here. From what I've read on social media, 16 crayons fit in here. These are from Dollar Tree. Uh, I don't know if you can buy these in a bundle, but I can try to see and then I can link it down below. If not, I will just write where I got these from. These are scented markers. You can use these, you can have your kids use these if you want. That's up to you. I think I'm mainly gonna use them for anchor charts and then I probably will buy a set for my VIP student and have it at the little caddy that they will be sitting at. So these are amazing, they smell good. They're awesome for anchor charts, okay? Next thing I have is my electric stapler. My electric stapler, okay? And my first placement. I had to staple so much stuff because the curriculum that we used for phonics was all little books. So I had to rip them out and I had to staple them. And it was very tedious. My supervising teacher at that time had one of these and I was like, this is a lifesaver. I need one of these. So since I'm teaching first grade, I figured I'm going to be probably using that same curriculum. So I bought one of these. Next thing, I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see it. And it's very loud, so if it goes off, it's okay, it's okay. So, this is my huge, giant classroom timer. I love it. So, it is magnetic, so it sticks. Actually, we can see if it sticks. Okay, I don't know how good it's gonna stick because this is not that thick but yes it does stick we have the volume here so it can go low or high and you just set it up and look the timer goes and it's huge and you can put it on your whiteboard so all the kids can see it i think that's super awesome and very visual for students that really don't know time i don't know how it sounds to go off so i'm just gonna let it play and then we'll listen to it when it does go off but Aside from that, oh wait, I didn't tell you where it's from. This is from Lakeshore Learning. The next thing I have is my Echo Dot. And I'm pretty excited about it because I've just seen so many teachers use this and it's super helpful in the classroom when you don't know something yourself or if your students wanna ask a question. Obviously it has to be appropriate, but I'm gonna let my kids ask questions. If I don't know the answer, I'm gonna tell them. I don't know the answer. It could be a random, not obviously not your test questions, obviously not your work questions, but let's just say we're talking about something and they ask me, oh, where does, mm, there it goes. So then you just press stop. And I think this is how you do the minutes. Okay, so the next thing up is my two cutting tools. So I watch Pocket Full of Primary and she recommended buying these spring scissors. And let's just say they are amazing, okay? Your hand doesn't cramp up as much, as much, okay? As much, and it just feels so much better. And there's a little grip on it that feels so good. Just, just a win. I'll link these down below. Then I have my scrapbook paper cutter and it goes out like this. I use this so much with laminating and cutting all my decorations, so I highly recommend one of these. I'll link this one down below, but they have a lot on Amazon that you can look through. That's it for my supplies. Now I'm gonna go and talk about my classroom management strategy that I have for my new year, for my first year. Hopefully you have feedback about it, if you used it before, let me know. I really, really think this is gonna be super fun for the kids and for myself too. Here is the book, How Full Is Your Bucket? This book talks about filling up your imaginary invisible bucket and talks about how to fill up your bucket and what good comments, what good things you can do to fill up your bucket. My plan is to read this the first week of school and to get the kids, you know, to know what their bucket consists of. So good choices, walking in line correctly, 
um, completing tasks that I give them, make sure they're talking when it's time to talk, make sure just all those things that accumulate and will fill up your bucket. And I will be showing you what I'm going to have and what materials I'm going to be using to bring this book to life as my classroom management strategy. So here is Mrs. Perez's bucket. I am going to fill it with, I have some in here just to show y'all. I'm going to fill it with pom-poms, yay. So whenever I see someone listening, someone walking in line correctly, someone being nice to a friend, you know, just good behavior in general, I'm going to hand them one of these. And guess what they get to do with the pom-poms that they receive. So let's just say that they receive like five pom-poms. What am I gonna do with these? So each kid is gonna have their very own bucket in the front of the classroom. The students are gonna try to fill up the bucket as much as they can throughout the week. And at the end of the week, they will get to choose from three different options. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna set up my prizes for 10, 15, and 20, but I know that if they have 10, they're gonna get to go somewhere. If they have 15, they're gonna get to go somewhere. If they have 20, it's obviously a bigger prize. I'm also going to add little decals, because I have a cricket, guys. I'm gonna add little decals with um, my name on this one. Their number that I give them in the beginning of the school year is gonna go here. So if they're number 15, they're just gonna say 15. So then they know which one is theirs. At the end of the week, guess what? We put them back inside, okay? Then we start all over on Monday. So I think this is gonna work, I really do. And I'm glad that these buckets are clear because then they can see how much how much they're filling up their bucket. I got these, I have 18 of these, and I got these from Walmart. They were 97 cents. They're usually in the party section, I believe. And then this one I got at Walmart as well. I don't know how long ago I got it because it was very long ago, but I got this one there. And then obviously my pom-poms are from Amazon and I'll try to link them down below as well. I showed you guys everything I have right now. Obviously I have a lot more stuff, but I don't want to show everything. Anyways, I want to make sure I try to help as many teachers out there and first year teachers with items that I've gotten from my classroom or that have been recommended to buy. So add these to your Amazon wish list. If you have extra money, purchase them. Not saying you have to buy everything, but you know, little by little just build. Don't buy it all now, even though I feel like I have to buy everything. That's it for today, guys. I am done. I will upload another one soon. Make sure if you have any questions, do comment down below. Like and subscribe for more teacher videos. See you next time.